Uh, and when you say Houston Astros, of course, we all think Altuve, Bregman, Verlander. But when you think Houston food and you say it, the name is Chris Shepard. Amen, sister. He is hosting a gigantic event in town, a three day event, by the way, and he's invited his famous celebrity chef friends. Chris Shepard is joining us now alongside one of his special guests, Paula Velez, James Beard nominated pastry chef, to give us a taste of what we can all expect at this weekend's Southern Smoke Festival. It's great to see you both. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having me. Well, uh, Chris, this three day festival, three different locations Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday, Herman Park Friday. The Houstonian Saturday, East End at Eighth Wonder Brewery yep. on Saturday or Sunday, I mean. And you said you put in the order for this weather a year ago. I did, yeah. I ordered it last <laughs> November when we started talking about this festival. I was like, I'm going to need it to be 80 something degrees, no, you know, sunny and nice. It will, it's perfect. And people can essentially eat and drink their way through the weekend starting on Absolutely. Friday. Absolutely. Starting to, on this Friday, you know, at Lot Hall, it's going to be. That's where we're cooking. We're that's, both cooking oh that yeah. night, so it's that's gonna awesome. It's going to be amazing. And then Saturday is more of a seafood-focused like afternoon event. And then Sunday, the big shebang at Eighth Wonder, seven acres of East Downtown, and just 45 chefs, I think, that day. Wow. It's so. really incredible. I can't believe it's here already. You were just on the show a few know, months right? ago talking about this big weekend. Paula, thank you so much for coming into Houston for this. And I know it's such a huge honor. You two are great friends. What does this mean to be able to kind of showcase your food here in Houston? Of course, Houston has the, the, the scene right now when it comes to food. Everybody's talking about us. Honestly, for me, it's just Ed an extreme joy to be here with Chris Shepard, with my chef friends as well, and after Friday, I'm going to be a guest too, and it's going to be a party. <laughs> it's yep. going to be on, right? <laughs> and your upbringing, Paula, raised in both New York City and the Dominican Republic. I'm glad we converted you to cheer for the Astros, by the way. Uh oh. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, how, how did your upbringing influence uh, your, your palate and the food that you make? And maybe talk a little bit about the dish you brought along today. Honestly, for me, everything is a love letter to my culture. As a first generation American, I didn't know who I was, but but through food, I was able to take Americana cuisine and really find an identity through it. So here we have beautiful chocolate chip cookies two ways. We have oatmeal raisins with two types of raisins. And then we have a Thai marshmallow milk chocolate that is to die for. I kind of nice. infuse the butter and I, it's nice and toasty. And there's that tea just swirling all around. Oh I can't wait for you to try it. Oh my gosh, is it time? I, I, try, I tried it earlier. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it time? Can we try it now? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, we're going to that here. plate this way, Mama. Okay, you want me to take the whole yeah, plate? Yeah, okay, and let's talk about the oysters, That's Chris. So, good. so these are oysters just out of Bolivar Peninsula. It's the first kind of system that this is. This is the Barrier Beauties, um, where you're going to have these all weekend long out at the festival. Um, it's just something that, you know, forever Texas has been dredging oysters, and now this is kind of a drop net system. Um, and they're the first ones to start producing them. I'm super excited about it. Um, they're just beautiful and clean. So, wow, and, and they're sustainable as just well. Just right over here, yeah. So oysters is the most sustainable protein you can actually have. That's great. So, yeah. We can eat those too because I just went from dessert and now you that's not like you want. this, wow. right? Yeah. These are delicious, Paula. Thank you so much. I, what is this one again with the marshmallow? So that is the Thai tea cookie. It's like my chocolate chip cookie that I infuse with a little bit of brown butter, marshmallows, and milk chocolate as oh, well. Oh my mm. word. I mean, that is that. so good. So good. Each I gotta have, I'm gonna it's take like one of these. Yeah. Meal. Okay, Chris, so yeah. here's the thing. It's delicious, it's fun, it's reconnecting with community and friends, but underscoring all of this is a beautiful, beautiful mission. Yeah, and so what we're doing is we're raising funds and awareness. Uh, we take care of folks in the hospital or the food and beverage industry in times of crisis. Um, so if someone gets hurt and can't pay their bills, we're there for them. If somebody gets, you know, they almost at homelessness, we take care of them. We put them in their homes We to make sure they have electricity. We make sure they have food that they can take care of their kids. And also mental health awareness is a big thing for us. Um, we now provide free mental health care to anybody in the food and beverage industry and their kids in the state of Texas, Louisiana, California, Illinois, pilot programs in Pennsylvania and getting ready to go into New York and Connecticut. And so I want all 50 states by 2028. I want the F&B industry to have free mental health care nationwide 
in a few years. It is wow. so important. And that's a goal. And, yeah. and you know what, for somebody like you to be able to stand up and make this mission happen yeah. is so important. We're so honored that, you know, you're here, that we, you know, you're, you're a hometown boy and we yeah. love that. Um, but this weekend is going to be fantastic for Southern Smoke. We're so excited for you. A list of some of the other chefs besides oh Paula. I mean, you've got, like, it's literally. Chef Eric Williams is there, Claudette Zapata. You go down the list we, and it's just Oh my amazing. God, Tom Calicchio is here. Yeah. I know. Ashley oh Christensen, like the, uh, it's all the friends Joshua and the family. Joshua Wiseman. Yeah. It so just, many. The superstars of the culinary world. Yeah, and then here. this year we also have a bunch of our local heroes too, like a bunch of the local chefs Don that are Burrell. from here. Yeah, Don Burrell and Chris Williams, and you know you got Felipe. You just got the whole teams, and, and it's, we it's can't really forget fantastic. Gail Simmons because she's Gail. just. And that's who I'm cooking with. I know. That's so, why I said something. Yeah. Right. It's good to have good friends, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know what? And, and it's it's for the cause, right? And it, once once you start talking about, because we all can do festivals all year long, right? But there's you know, a handful that really make the difference. And this is one that I believe that we can change an industry, right? We can make it better than the way that we found it. Amen. So. And after the last two years, we need it. Absolutely. Yeah. We need it. You do. Paula Velez, Chris Shepard, it's great seeing you Go both. Stros. Thank you Go Stros. Stros. Go Stros. Go Stros. Thanks for cheering for the Stros, Paula. By the <laughs> way, for a link to connect with the Southern Smoke Foundation, just visit our website, HoustonLife.tv, and look for that scene on Houston Life section.